Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to 2020. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it's a nice number though. And uh, I just want to say um, I wish all the best for you in this year and to remain healthy. That's the main thing. That's the most important thing. And, and now I'm going to jump into the video. I'm going to talk about my favorite products, my my staple products they are going to be in my makeup kit like forever and ever if the companies keep producing them because they are so so good and um yeah i'm just gonna pick a few favorites and talk about them and show you because i think it's worth the money so let's jump into the video shall we <laughs> Now I'm gonna pick randomly products from my table, what I have here, what I wanna talk about because I don't have like an order. I don't have like a number one, two, three and such. Um, I just have favorites in general and uh, I just, I'm just gonna pick uh, the products and talk about them, say a few things, why I love them, why I think they're good. And yeah, that's, um, that's the video and also many products you may know already but you may not have it and uh, I feel like you should if you do love makeup um, if you like me you know a makeup lover then uh, those products are really really worth the money and that's why I'm talking about them and first I'm going to talk about Hoola from Benefit uh, it's the first one they came out with and um, I think everyone knows this product and if you don't have it then you absolutely should because this is the perfect color for so many skin tones I mean even on myself I'm so light especially now in winter time and also in summertime. I mean, I do have a bit of color, but not too much. I don't like to lay in the sun too much. I just don't like it, it's not my thing. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very, very good product. I do love the color of it. This is the, this is the main reason why I like it because it's the perfect combination between warm tone and cool tone. It does have a bit of cool tone in it because it's more on the neutral side than um, on the warm side. I mean, yes, it's warm, but not very. That's what I mean. And I do love it because I can contour my nose with it as well. I like a neutral color for my nose. If you did follow me um, from the beginning, then you already know I do like a very neutral color for my nose. I don't like it to be very warm or too cool toned i don't want to look too ashy or just orangey in general so i'm always picking a neutral color for my nose contour and also for the rest of my face i do like a more on the neutral side color because i'm so light in color warm toned colors um don't look good on me so this is the reason why i like it and why so many others like it as well and also um i like the fact that it's not patchy it doesn't do that funny thing when you apply it they kind of build up in certain areas more than on others and it it looks uneven and uh, this doesn't do that like never never this foundation is like the holy grail of all foundations at least for me i mean it has this absolutely gorgeous finish um it's on the matte side but not very it's not drying it's not like sucking your moisture you know from from your face but you do need to moisturize underneath um if you are very dry then you're good then it's everything okay because the way it applies the way it looks it doesn't oxidize it has this beautiful finish um if you apply like a layer of it two layers of it three layers of it it always looks good never too much and um you can build it up to to make it like full coverage if you wished off camera i am a very natural kind of girl so i'm never going full masky 
but uh, you could if you wish and uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous the colors are good even if one foundation isn't your right tone um, then you can buy two ones and just mix and match and it's it's fine it's not the cheapest out there but it's also not the most expensive one i think for a foundation i mean at least for me i do invest more in a foundation for example than in a lip liner or i don't know um highlighter because that's not really really my thing in terms of blush i don't have a very very beloved product um i don't think i have a product i cannot live without but I do have products, I mean, blushes that I do love and I'm going to talk about them. This one, for example, is the Le Blush. Um, it's from L'Oreal and it's the shade 120 sandalwood pink. And um, I think it's absolutely gorgeous on the skin, at least on my skin tone. It does have a bit of sparkle through it. Um, I love the color. I just love, love, love pink on my eyes, on my face it's my thing but because i'm very light in color i'm also blonde i think it suits me um it's a beautiful color it does apply absolutely gorgeously on the skin and more than this i don't have to say then another product that's very very affordable just like with the l'oreal one it's this one from milani and i suppose you've already heard of it this is the luminoso and it's also a color that goes for so many skin tones for so many looks because it's like peachy color so it's not very orangey it's also not very pink um and it has that luminosity that's why it's called luminoso it is a bit powdery i would say about this but it doesn't interfere with the application with how it looks on the skin so uh, it doesn't bother me and uh, also the price range as I've said this is a very very good product for this money so that's that another blusher a third one and the last one I'm going to talk about is the bare minerals what's this called perfect rose another rose color this is a bit darker than the one from l'oreal and it's matte and it comes in this um container um it's like a loose product and yeah it flies everywhere if you're not careful but it's not patchy and it looks great um at least on my skin tone or lighter skin tones quite randomly as i've said we're going to talk about concealers now and those are two i really do love I'm using them to death and um, this is from the drugstore this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 um, I do love the shade because it's on the yellow side and it neutralizes sallowness and uh, dark circles it's a beautiful product it doesn't make you look like an all prune and um, so it's not drying underneath the eyes it doesn't oxidize and as i've said the shade is perfect i love this product it's such a good product it has a medium coverage though so if you do have really dark deep circles underneath your eyes you might not like it because i don't think it's gonna cover if you put something underneath and this on top then yes but not on its own for me it's enough I love it and this one um this one is from it cosmetics and it's the bye bye and eye concealer this is in the shade medium this is the shade i'm i'm always using i do have the light shade for like youtube um videos and sometimes i'm i'm using it if i want a very highlighty uh t-zone and under eye area then i would use the light shade but the medium shade is like for my everyday use and it's very creamy very very thick in consistency you need like 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 this much uh underneath your eyes and it's too much i think <laughs> you need to be careful with how much you apply because it can be um it can be a bit too much and because it's so creamy it does um it does settle into fine lines so yeah that's that's a thing when you pick too much it does crease on you but set it with powder right after applying this and uh, you're not going to have a problem and especially for more mature skins i think this is a 
a very good product, a perfect product. Now for mascaras, I think you already know what product uh, or products I'm gonna talk about. Uh, if you've followed me for a while, you already know I have a few mascaras that I so much love and I always use them. They are from MAC and this one from L'Oreal and they are both waterproof. I only use waterproof mascaras underneath my uh, eyes on the lower lashes and not on my top lashes never because it's so hard to take it off and I just don't want that headache for the lower lashes those are the perfect mascaras those are the perfect mascaras and uh, this one from MAC is more expensive this one is a bit more you know accessible uh, but both do the same thing I cannot say that this is better than this one I, I just could not um, if I were to choose between them I think I would choose the one from MAC just because of the one and for those of you who have like really small lower lashes I think th uh, this one would be the perfect mascara because of that. The one from L'Oreal, it has this coney kind of wand. It's like more narrow here and you can apply it like this if you cannot like this. But anyway, it's a very good product and it doesn't bleed. They both don't. Uh, I mean, you can sleep with them on and your makeup is that. I mean, you, you're not gonna end up looking like a panda. I'm always saying this as well because it's like the perfect description of the problem and also another uh, mascara that I really do love I've discovered this last year <sighs> something flies here is this one from Youngblood and uh, this is the outrage outrageous a mouthful uh, this is the outrageous lashes mineral lengthening mascara this is not a waterproof mascara so I'm applying it on my top lashes as well it doesn't bleed as well and I was so pleased, so, so pleased with um, the fact when I discovered it because I applied it and then, I don't know, I went to sleep <laughs> and it didn't transfer on my skin. So yes, a very, very good mascara. For powders, I do love my loose powders and those two ones, this one from Estee Lauder, this is a relatively new product in my makeup collection. And the RCMA one, which is a no color powder. Um, I love them both and actually for the same reason. Uh, this has a bit of color in it. It's not like white, it's like uh, a bit yellowish and this one it looks white but it's it goes translucent, transparent on the skin. So even darker or dark skin tones can use it and it's not going to look ashy or interfere with the color of your foundation. So I do love those ones and the reason why is because they are so finely milled. This one more than this one and this one the difference between them is also also, the fact that it has the, the smallest possible ever sparkles through it. You, you, can, you can see it in certain lights when you look at it in the, in the pan, but you cannot see it on the face. It's like undetectable and it makes your skin, it like bounces the light off your skin and it makes it look so flawless and perfect because of that. It kind of covers and goes into the pores but not clogging them. It makes them look smaller. It really, really does. And this one as well, I apply it with a damp and beauty sponge. With the same sponge, I've applied my, my foundation, my concealer, and then I lightly, lightly go into the pan. And I take just the smallest amount from the product and uh, press it into my skin on the areas I want it to be set and to remain like this, you know, to, to not move around. I always go to those two products when I want fail free makeup. Now, for someone that's not very into the highlighting trend, I do have here a few products, a few highlighters, and uh, each one is a bit different and I mean by that also the consistency the way it looks on the skin of course the colors as well this one is from Hourglass this is the ambient lighting powder in luminous light and I don't think you can put too much you can go like this in the pan and put it like this on your face and I don't think it looks 
strange or funny. Well, needless to say, I don't go like this in, into the pet because it's not my thing. And I'm gonna apply it now. I'm gonna apply it on the top of my cheekbones, like so, with the fan brush, the one from Zaiva. And uh, you can already see I do have a bit of shininess a bit of glossiness there but it's not like a straight line blinding be seen from the moon it's just not my thing so i'm doing like this on the other side as well and blend it the top of my brows and i'm doing like a c shape afterwards like so then on the cupid's bow and on the nose but more here between my brows very well blended and lightly along my nose one of my favorites as well um i love the color of it and this is this is more shiny than the other one this is like blindingly shiny if you if you want to make it like that i don't i apply it uh, sparingly i drop this and it has like this line there um but uh, this is the gilded honey also you can make it very very shiny if you wished uh, i do like it how it looks on my skin tone i love it on deeper skin tones not very deep but deeper than mine and uh, I've discovered recently a palette from Catrice this is a 3-0 highlighter palette and I think this is an amazing amazing product I do love the idea that this highlighter here which is called a soft highlighter is a soft highlighter indeed this doesn't sparkle so much now this one this is like full power highlighter and it's um it's this color like a goldeny color and it goes very well on my skin tone and this one I don't usually use it and if I do then I combine it with the other two ones this is for deeper skin tones um, this looks amazing on them if you can put it on your face you can put it on your eyes as well and uh, this is like an eyeshadow for me now let's move on to lip liners I have here two nude ones and they are both from the drugstore and uh, this is from Essence, this is from Maybelline. Um, this is my favorite one. You already know this is the uh, lip long lasting lip liner in lovely Frappuccino and this one is from Maybelline in the shade Dusty Rose. I love them both more the Essence one than the Maybelline one because it doesn't glide so effortless on the skin like this one and i also do like the color of the essence one a bit more than the maybelline one but i mean i love them both as i've said love the color of it love the way they glide on the skin more the essence one than the maybelline one and i love that they are long lasting and for the price especially the essence one it's so cheap and so good lip liners in general i don't like to spend too much money on them i mean the urban decay ones they are amazing they are really really good and uh yeah better than those ones but they cost also so much more money than those two ones and in the end i mean you cannot see any difference after applying them especially if you put like lipstick on top so yeah they are my best options now we're gonna talk about gel eyeliners and the one i love so much this is my number one gel eyeliner is from inglet and this is the shade black the number 77 and this is so black and so opaque and it glides on the skin so beautifully no effort at all um, and i also do like the mac one the black track from mac because i put this in my waterline and it doesn't budge i like it because it doesn't bleed it doesn't go anywhere of course it's also great for doing your actual eyeline and flick but uh, i do use it more for the waterline and for tight lining i must say and the inglot one more for the actual eyeliner I almost forgot, I cannot believe it. This is my favorite, 
felt tip eyeliner um, from Maybelline and I do love it because it has this very very fine felt tip and it can do a very very small um, hair like stroke you know such a fine line and uh, it's also matte but not if you apply more than two layers if you start you know applying and reapplying and such it's just gonna become shiny but if you're not like new with your eyeliner if you know what you're doing then this is a very good option for glittery eyeshadows I like to very much this one uh, from Stila and this one from uh, L'Oreal this is the shade diamond dust and this is the shade diamond dust from Stila and this is from L'Oreal diamond dust diamond dust what this is pink and this is like silver um, they have the same name but this is a liquidy form and it applies so easy I mean this is um, this is an option for everyone. Glitter can be off-putting, especially for someone that hasn't used glitter like ever because it can end up everywhere and can ruin your makeup really. And this one doesn't because it's in that liquidy form and um, it has this um, applicator that makes it so easy to apply. Very, very good product. This is the mini version of it because it's my travel version. The L'Oreal one, this I apply with my finger. I just rub a bit in the pan and um, tap it on my lid and it looks beautiful. It's very creamy, very buttery, but it can drop a bit underneath your eyes. So you need to press it into your skin and uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. Then for lipsticks, uh, that's, uh, that's such a large subject. I mean, I think one dedicated video could not be enough, but because of that, I can not show you all the lipsticks I love because it's it would be such a long video so I picked three or four options that I think you are going to love absolutely love and not be disappointed in the first option would be this range from L'Oreal those are just a few shades I have here but uh, I think I have the whole range now um, I love the shades I love first of all the formula of it. I love that so thin but so covering, so opaque, not sticky at all. This is like my favorite shade. It's like a very dark Barbie pink and um, I love the nude one. I love the red one. I love every single shade they did and every shade is consistent. It's not like one it's patchy, one it's not. This is a very 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 good product for a drugstore option then the next one would be this one from a revlon this is the ultra hd matte lip color and this is like a mousse this is like a mousse consistency and it's not gonna stay on your lips the whole day if you eat and drink but it's gonna stay there if you don't eat and drink or it's gonna stay for like a few hours and it wears off so beautiful you cannot see that line there I love it so so much and then I do love still the Kat Von D ones as well I do have this red one which is called something with sangre Santa sangre I love it I love how I look with it and I love also the fact that it wears off beautifully this is a liquid lipstick as well long lasting as well and then the mac ones i do still love the formula um, i have many shades of this one and this is uh topped with brandy for example uh, i do love the one that's fire fire red like ferrari red as well that's one of the favorites and so on i mean i don't want to make this uh, video too long so many eyeshadows i like as well the same thing as with the lipsticks i cannot talk about eyeshadows enough but i'm going to show you two palettes that i've discovered recently the first palette is from nabla it's uh it's like a new um palette they came out with it's the dreamy palette 
and it looks like this. You have your mattes, your crease eyeshadows, uh, the darker brown. I wish they had a black option in this palette. I mean, black is always good, but you can create a full look, eye look with this palette. You don't necessarily need a black, that's true. Also, you have those very shiny eyeshadows, um, very beautiful shades like this one, absolutely gorgeous this one as well and this one the next palette is this one from be perfect and this is a company i personally haven't heard about them uh, but i've seen youtubers talking about this company and i was very curious and this palette in particular this is the clientele clientele palette and uh, this is in collaboration with jar makeup artist and um, this is the company be perfect and this is how it looks inside it does have that mirror the color range is to die for and it does have a black there it's gorgeous and neutral and i think it's perfect for everyone be perfect perfect eyeshadow palette my favorite matte shade is this one i think it's called gg yes and it has like a very reddish undertone i love the tone of it and too much as well this is a very classic brown dark brown it's darker than the camera picks it up and this cappuccino kind of color the sandy one dirty tan is also one of my favorites sweet as i mean boy what not i love this eyeshadow palette um off camera this is the only palette i'm using and the the dreamy palette as well let's talk about Arison lashes you already know i i love every sun lashes this is my favorite brand i've discovered them on my own i bought uh, lashes from them on amazon and i felt in love with their with their quality with the way they look how i feel wearing them and such and i came from my winter holiday and found this from them it's a pr package and thank you so so much every sun lashes sleeping mask for the eyes and then like a roller for massaging your face and um, i guess you can also apply your moisturizer with it as well i have a calendar very interesting and then the actual lashes they are so out there but i love them so much they are so fluffy then i have a set of five of different eyelashes then i have the single case so good for like a very elongated pet eye lastly i have here a box of three lashes they are in the same style and i also have an applicator which makes me happy because i always apply my lashes my band my full lashes uh with an applicator like this i find it to be very easy like this and um yeah once again thank you aries and lashes so yeah with this being said um i'm gonna say bye now tell me in the comments down below what you want to see and i'm gonna catch you in my next tutorial Mwah. bye i love you so much